We need to encourage our kids and invest in their education. We need to give them the chance to become the next generation of scientists and engineers and entrepreneurs. If they study hard in math and science, then their futures are going to be bright. And so is America's. Now, may the best robot win. One day I was on tour, driving around the arena on a Segway. I was just thinking, wow, I wonder who invented this. So I Googled Segway inventor, and Jim Kamen popped up. My research on Dean came and all the all the other things he invented, the portable dialysis machine, the water purification systems. This is our Edison. Today's Edison. I want to meet this guy. So I called Dean came on the phone. I'm like, hey Dean, my name is Will from the Black Eyed Peas. I'm a big fan of yours. And the first thing he said, I need you to help me with first. I'm like, what's first? He said, that's the problem. I've been doing this robotics competition for the past 20 years. Not many people know about FIRST. He showed me what FIRST was about. Youth from ages 8 to 18, learning math, science, robotics, engineering. It just blew my mind. So from that point on, I was just like, I'm all about FIRST. Come and join Will I Am and thousands of student teams from all over the world who built and programmed their own robots to compete at the first robotics championship and are joined by the Black Eyed Peas. It's I Am First. Science is rock and roll. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Edward Jones Dome here in St. Louis. I'm Ryan Devlin. And I'm Jen Brown. This is the Super Bowl of Smarts, the 2011 First Championship. And like the other Super Bowl, it has top music entertainment. That's right. One part of the dome here is going to be set up for the competition and the other part for our concert. I'll be here with the sideline view of the games and going over to the concert stage later. And I'll be on the move, checking out all the action from the floor of the dome. Over a quarter million students from 57 countries built and programmed their own robots to play in the competition. Over 22,000 robots started out. Less than 600 have made it to these finals. And it all comes down to today's games. Yes, it does. Now, we should explain the name of the show. I am first. Now the I am comes from Will I am with the Black Eyed Peas and first is the name of the organization which stages this competition every year. First is an acronym meaning for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. Normally this is where the St. Louis Rams play but it's been taken over by hundreds of robots and thousands of students. Let's meet some of them. and passion for science and technology. Working night and day trying to get this robot as advanced as a Cylon. By far a life-changing experience. Oh, it's, it's honestly, it's really great. But we do our hair every day for competition. And then you run into people and things. It's really fun. Using engineering concepts, there is no try. There's only two. When your robot lights on fire, what can you do? You either laugh about it or you cry about it. All the girls come up and they look at the robot. Definitely helps with girls. You guys are We are stars. My robot is better than your robot. The most senior level at this championship is the first robotics competition. It has the largest robots weighing around 150 pounds. Now what's unique here is the game is played by alliances comprised of three teams each. These alliances change for every match, so a team you played with one match could be your opponent in the next. First likes to call this co-opertition. The first robotics game for 2011 was called Logo Motion and is played on a 27 by 54 foot field. Alliances of three teams each operate their robots from behind alliance walls at the ends of the field. I got that hit to beat the block. Three, two, one, go! Boom, boom. The objective is to hang inflatable tubes on pegs at the ends of the field in the order of first logo. A triangle, a circle, and a square. Team members feed their robots scoring tubes during the game by tossing tubes onto the field. Near the end of the match, the robots drive to the towers on the field and deploy mini-bots. 
which race to the top of the tower for bonus points. Three hundred and sixty-five teams competed in four divisions, named after famous scientists. Archimedes, Galileo, Curie, and Newton. The final was won by the alliance of Team 254, the Cheesy Poofs from San Jose, California, Team 111, Wild Stang from Schaumburg, Illinois, and Team 973, Raybots from Atascadero, California, from the Galileo Division. Each team gets sent the same robot kit, but without any instructions. Instead, they're given a manual about the game and how the robot must play. The games change every year and they can be pretty complicated. But it's not just about the robots, it's about building self-confidence and building respect. It's not so much about winning and losing. It's really about the experience, learning, and building your mind to compete tomorrow, the whole process.